All right, here we got our 2006 F350. Uh, this is a long bed Lariat, four wheel drive. Some nice aftermarket alarm on here. As well as factory key fob. All functions correctly. Uh, this one has had the door locks removed, so there's no key to test. Keypad works correctly. Uh, we would have to get the code out of the off the module to know the code not a big deal No engine lights, no dash lights at all, no warnings, no ABS. Go ahead, buckle up, show you that one turns off as well. Uh, the radio does not turn on. Uh, it's an aftermarket Pioneer unit. Um, could need replacing. Uh, I have not messed with it at all. Go ahead, test the four wheel drive. This one is equipped with the parking sensors. We'll go straight to four low. As you can see, it goes right in. The automatic vacuum hubs work perfectly and quickly. There's four high, two high. The fog light model. Got the automatic pedals here, those function properly. Doesn't seem to be raining anymore. We'll go ahead and install the windows. Nice and smooth. This one has the automatic rear window as well. Things pretty much fully loaded. Functions perfectly smooth. Factory trailer brake, all these exhaust auxiliary switches. AC blows super strong, nice and cold heater works. We'll take it to the floor, up to defrost. All right, and then we will try to, all right, there we go. Uh, the factory uh, steering wheel buttons work, temperature and uh, the fan speed. Super nice truck. Got the WeatherTech floor mats. This is a heated seat model. Seats are in amazing shape. function in all directions, every setting. Functioning power mirrors. Seat backs are mint.
door shut nice and easy. Uh, it's got a factory bed cover. We rolled it up uh, for the pictures. I just didn't put it back on, but it Velcros just simply on rolls. Uh, it's nice and tight, fits great. Got the plates for the fifth wheel and a gooseneck ball. Tops of the bed look great. Still got the cab corners as well. It's pretty rare. Got some great looking carpet in it, given the age. Passenger heated seat. Center console. Um, got the pieces right here, so. Doesn't appear to be, it's just difficult to get that clip in right there. Uh, but these are not damaged uh, in any way. They should go right on, which Forgot to do that before the video. No big deal. Little smudge mark. That's just one of my fingerprints. Comes right off. Looks great. Um, good hinges. Got a radio uh, remote there. Uh, this hasn't peeled up or anything like a lot of them. Seat functions perfectly. Great looking dash. Factory booklet. We've got a USB cord if you wanted to connect your phone to the radio. Mind you, it may need replacing. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I have not. I have not diagnosed it at all. I will check the fuse and everything. Uh, if you want to ask me about it, we can. See if we can get it working. We won't be replacing it. Not at the given price. You want a manual override your hubs. They twist nice and free. A sweet looking ranch hand bumper on this, name brand. Uh, the exterior of this truck is super, super nice. Uh, absolutely no paint damage. I know it's wet right now. Uh, we should have some pictures that'll better show the paint. We've usually used these videos to uh, show you the little defects or cosmetic flaws or whatever but this one uh, doesn't have any so we're just going to kind of show it off a little bit but no scratches no dents uh, this is about the only scratch on this side right here on the top of the bed great looking tires we got some cooper discoveries on here a couple little chips right here in the bedside some minor scratches uh, nothing major at all nothing that's not fixable by a little buff now the ta tailgate does have a little bit of damage a little bit of clear coat stuff right here uh, and then where this has been kind of moving has kind of rubbed a little bit of the top right here Light dent in the bumper. A BMW drop ball. Again on this side, the exact same scratches. Right 
there and there. The LEDs work great. Roof's got some fading going on, uh, but no peeling or anything like that. Majority of this black stuff's kind of more so like tree sap and stuff. If you wanted, you could just clean it right off. Big difference. There's the park brake, the indicator uh, works. It's nice and firm. Release as well. Super clean engine. Appears to be mostly factory. Absolutely no blow by, not even vapor. Truck drives phenomenally, and we'll uh, towards the end of this video, we'll uh, we'll be driving it. Do a quick underside check. See the AC is working well. So we got some good, uh, some good replaced uh, cab mounts, which is always a plus. Absolutely no rust. Got some surface stuff on the, the frame down there. Totally normal. Yeah, it's a good looking truck. Here's the ratings for the uh, package back here
we'll uh, grab a plate. When, but front windows got there at the exact same time. Back windows as well. So. Major plus. All right, and what we'll do is we'll kind of just go get on the highway, get up to about 75, 80. Show you it going through all the gears, noting any any steering issues or anything like that, which we won't have anything to note on this one. Truck's got great power, doesn't feel restricted at all. Not all turned up by some kid. Super clean, smooth shifts. Not soft, not crazy firm. Now this road is a little tilted, but still drives straight. The highway's right up here. Truck rides great. There, yeah, we just hit a pretty good bump. There was no clunking, no clicking, squeaking, anything like that. Super tight, front end super tight. We'll let them get up there a bit. We're gonna go about 50% throttle. Busted the tires loose there. Super clean shifts. We'll kick down right here. Great power. Nice and quiet ride. Not hearing any abnormal air getting in the cab or anything like that. We'll get up to this next exit up here, and uh, we do got that uh, that bed cover. I should have put it all the way back on. It's kind of slapping around back there. Uh, we will put it back on all the way. Kind of just rushing. just catching a little bit of wind. I'll go ahead and show you all that. It's got these little straps and bars on it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and set the cruise control. If I can figure out how. There we go. Cruise control is functioning properly. We'll go ahead and slow it down via the coast button. Works perfect. All right, and then there it is. We turned it off. Brakes are super smooth. Not feeling any kind of skipping or warping in the rotors. I feel exactly how they should. It's a 
like great power absolutely no slipping unless it's from the tires spec uh, pressure and spec temperatures here And then with those auto hubs, man, it's super cool. You can just four wheel drive, we're in. Don't have to hop out, lock the hubs or anything like that. It's in just how it is. Uh, you can't tell from the video, but usually you get them on rocks, you can feel whether or not your front hubs are uh, engaged or not. These definitely are, It'll, they pick up kind of like a skip. Well, that's our uh, 2006 F350. Posted on our site, angletontrucks.com.